Reporter Wakisha Bailey. She's live outside at the Wells Fargo Center, so she doesn't have to wear a mask out there. She's in South Philly, where we spotted some <laughs> Sixers fans not following the city's new mask mandate. Good morning, Wakisha. Yeah, good morning, Jim. You wouldn't even be able to tell if there was a mask mandate once you went inside the Wells Fargo Center because, as you mentioned earlier, it seems like people think it was optional. However, there is one thing for sure in game two, there was no shortage of excitement. It's really good to see these guys in the playoffs. Sixers are going all the way this year, baby. Fans excited and decked out in Sixers swag with one essential accessory a mask. I hate it. <laughs> it's horrible. But I got to follow the rules and regulations. So here I am. Beginning Monday, Philadelphia reinstated its mask mandate, requiring masks to be worn inside businesses, including arenas and stadiums. Don't worry, if you forgot your mask, the event staff had you covered. I never took mine off anyway. As the Sixers take a 2 to 0 series lead over the Toronto Raptors, fans had no problem cheering on their favorite players, although most of their faces were covered. Oh, they can hear me. Go Sixers! Yes! Oh, they'll hear us. Don't worry about the mask. They'll hear right through this. But we noticed dozens of people maskless in the stands, with no one in sight to mandate, while others followed the rules. Safety first. Well, now, tomorrow night, the Sixers take on the Raptors in Toronto, where there is no mask mandate. Reporting from Wells Fargo Center, Wakisha Bailey, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Wakisha. Well, as for that game,